This here is most likely what your Elementor editor of a finished website looks like. Endless widgets that create heavy pages that are slow to load. This is extremely ineffective. So then you might have upgraded to containers and the hello theme, hoping to make your website faster. But this is still extremely ineffective because your website still loads all the unused widgets and does not use the one Elementor feature every Elementor website should use, the Element Manager. With this native Elementor tool, you can turn off every widget your website does not use. Let me show you. The Element Manager is broken into two functionalities. Functionality number one, scan usage so you actually know what you use across your website. Functionality number two, toggle off what you do not use so your editor stays clean and your pages load fewer assets. This one feature, which a lot of Elementor users do not even know about, can speed up your website with just a few clicks, and it takes less than two minutes. I'm going to show you how it works. Where to find it? Open WordPress, go to Elementor, then Element Manager. You will see the full list of widgets with toggles and a usage column. You don't need the pro version to use it. Scan usage. Click Show Used on your website. Elementor scans your pages and shows how many times each widget appears. Faster page speed is what every Elementor user wants. Even if the new V4 editor will provide cleaner and faster code from the start, it still is a very fast and effective way to make an already existing website a lot faster. Turn off the zeros. Sort by usage. If a widget shows zero and you do not plan to use it, toggle it off. Your editor gets cleaner immediately and you stop shipping assets you never touch. Test your pages. Open a few key pages in a private window and click through. Forms, menus, carousels, pop-ups. If anything looks off, you know what to re-enable. Project routine. Best way is to only use the element manager at the end of every project when your website is finished. Otherwise, you may turn off widgets that you are needing. Roll back if needed. If you disable the widget that is in use or you just need now, just turn it back on. Then go to Elementor, Tools, Regenerate CSS and Data, Clear Cache, and Reload. What not to do? Do not disable basic layout or text widgets, or turn too many widgets off too early when your website is still in production. If you want the full setup I use on every Elementor website I build, watch my 10-minute Elementor Starter Guide video next. And the free 45-plus page Starter Guide PDF is the first link in the description ready for you to download. Thanks for watching, and subscribe to make your Elementor websites happy.